you remember looking at something like this? Yeah, like yeah. Meditation, uh, it, it, meditation can do a lot of different things, though. It's 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 a lot harder to measure meditation um, because depending on if you've been doing it for right. fifty years yeah, or this study that I was talking about was like twenty plus years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because actually, when you look at some meditation techniques, the default men mode network gets more active. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, when you think about it, the the default mode network is is mostly active when you're not doing anything like when you're just kind of standing around yeah you you don't have to you don't have any kind of external tasks to deal with default mode network kicks in that's why it's the default mode it, it it's it's what you default to when you don't have any any other uh things to do and um so meditation you're not doing anything and so the the that internal dialogue it will get louder at first but the idea with um, kind of the uh, advanced meditation is that eventually you can get to a point where you can quiet it down and there is this, I don't know, it's sort of like this expanding and then contracting effect. Um, but there's a lot of different meditations out there though. So, um, and that's why psychedelics have, have done such a, a great service to the, the world of science and, and study of consciousness because as a drug, you have a lot of control over it. You can say exactly how much you want to introduce at what time and in what way, what, what, what person you want to study it with. There's a lot less of the extraneous variables involved. So, um, 